we've got a bit of het head going on. It's been pet day today at preschool, so it's been all go for me and Aston. But I've got time before I pick the girls up from school to have a look at my weekly grocery. Now, I recently posted on my Facebook page, Cheaper Ways NZ on Facebook, feel free to join. So I have previously said I spend between 150 and 150 and 170, sorry, dollars New Zealand per week on my groceries. And I got quite a lot of responses sort of saying, wow, you know, how do you do it? I know you've probably heard the good old thing, you know, make a list and it does end up cheaper. Now that's true, I, however, I'm not one of these people who makes a list and makes myself stick to it. I'll explain what I do. The first thing to do is check your pantry, check your freezer. I'm actually going to do it right here now as I'm talking to you. I don't know what I'm going to find. It's a, a lot of nothing, I think. And just see what meals you can make out of what was already in there. In the fridge, I've actually got some steak that I was going to do with a casserole with today, but I've run out of time to do that, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. So, I use two bits of paper. On one of them, I write down what I'm going to make. So, one night is going to be casserole. I hope you can't see my scruffy handwriting from there. While I'm thinking that veggies, I need carrots for the kids' school lunch boxes and cucumber. They like their cucumber. We'll need cheese. I'm get, actually, do I need cheese? I don't need cheese. I've got like a block and a half in there. I don't need cheese. In fact, I've got a bit of macaroni pasta in there. Macaroni cheese is going to be for dinner one night. I had a big bag of carrots. And then my parents gave us some carrots from their garden. And so the carrots I bought was in danger of going off. I sliced them into sticks and I've frozen them. So they're perfectly fine now to get out and cook. I don't like things going off. I've actually got some burger buns. Sometimes I buy a packet of burger buns and we don't use all of them. Put the rest in the freezer. I've got three. Actually, I've got five. That's perfect. I'm going to make burgers one night. And I will need, I think we've got tons of lettuce, but I'm planning on doing lots of wraps and stuff this week. So I'll buy another lettuce. We've got plenty of tomatoes. I know that. And we've got beetroot, yeah, that's beetroot in your burger. And of course we've got cheese. Aston's just yelling out that he needs toilet paper. Right back. <laughs> right. That's it. Oh, and I'll need mints. Actually, I have got, I've got one more roast pork left from when we got our pigs butchered. In the freezer. Pulled pork burgers. How does that sound? Who's coming to my place for dinner that night? So what I'll do is, because I know it's quite a big one, I'll do roast pork one night. It's feeling a bit warm for a roast actually, but I don't want to keep it in the freezer for another six months. I've got plenty of potatoes. Yes, I do. got plenty of potatoes for that. I'll need veggies for that too. Now we're talking, so I've got five dinners. Oh no, I lie. I write down burgers twice. Got excited about burgers. I will buy sausages for costs. There is always at least one night a week that I say, screw it, I'm doing sausages and beans for dinner. I need beans. <laughs> Got a can of tomatoes in there. I'm thinking if I get some mints, I might do spaghetti bolognese one night. When I'm making anything with mints, of course I buy a big packet of mints, freeze it in portions, and I'm not sure how well you can see that. I get some soup mix. And I cook up all the soup mix. Got peas and dried peas and lentils and barley and stuff in it. And I actually supplement the mince with that. So you actually you use a bit less meat that way. Make it a bit cheaper. So I've got plenty of that in the freezer, so I don't need to buy any more of that. And I'll need spaghetti pasta. And I've got one can of tomatoes. I'm not sure if that will do it, I'll get. I get ham cheap from the local produce market. I get like offcuts and Slice it up and freeze it in portions. So I've got plenty of ham, I think, to last the week. That should be fine. Bread. I'm actually, as we speak, I'm melting up some butter and some whey together. I'm making some wraps to go in lunch boxes. But of course, I'll still get bread. We're okay for cereal. The crumpets have been pretty popular this week. I'd better buy some more flour. So of course, I do plenty of baking as well for the kids' lunch boxes. I've got canned fruit. They had them for 99 cents at Pack and Save last week. My plan is, I've got a few cans of this, so I'm going to make some kind of muffins or slice or something. 
out of these for kids lunch boxes. One can, I know it's only a dollar but I still like to stretch it out. I've got some, another great lunch box filler, popcorn. Top it yourself. Don't buy the stuff that you need to do in the microwave. Seriously, it's so easy. And it's much healthier. We're good for peanut butter. We're good for jam. We need tomato sauce. Planning on doing a quiche tonight. Our chickens have laid plenty of eggs, so. Now, if I go to the supermarket and I find something that's on a super duper special, like if I find some fish that's really cheap, I often buy crumbed fish. I'll still buy it, even if it's not on my list, and it can always be added to my list for next week. You know, I just make sure I don't have so much going on in the pantry and the fridge that I don't know what's in there anymore, because I, I have been known to do that in the past. So what have I got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I do homemade fish and chips one night. Do not buy bags of chips and put them in the, free, in the uh, oven. Seriously, chop up potatoes, bit of oil in the oven. So easy. I'm just going to go check and see if we've got cat food. Yes, we do still have cat food. Um, I need a little bit more vinegar. I am running short on vinegar. Oh, plonk. I do need my cheap bottle of wine fix. I get, I get good old Corbins, you know, $7 for a fair bottle, but I like it. That's the main thing. My parents hassle me. They reckon I'm drinking washing up liquid or something. I like it. Hello. Aston has finally emerged from the toilet. Oh, I might get another can of a... Uh, what do you think? Some more mackerel for sandwiches, maybe? Yes. Although that is that is nearly full. I need to put that into a container, actually. Margarine. I'll just get one pot because we've got some in there. And, of yes. course, fruit and veggies. I automatically just get what's on special. I don't write down specifically bananas, apples, mandarins, whatever. I just, you know, I go and look at what's on special. Say hello. Hello. Is that it? Do we need anything else? I... Something else. What? Kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit. See what we can do. If they got packets of ricey crackers or something for the lunch boxes for a dollar a packet or something like that, yeah, I might buy them. You know, supplement lunch boxes as well as popcorn and baking and fruit and veggies and sandwiches. It's pretty easy to keep it cheap, so we'll keep you posted. Bye. Bye. Almost forgot. Baking powder and milk both green and blue top i'm being honest here i'm not leaving anything out and yes i do use the powdered stuff it's cheaper okay and i'm pretty big on being cheap so this is the weekly grocery shop <laughs> yes i i didn't buy them they just they're the most expensive items here olivia had something very important to say very quick hello max hi max everyone else gonna say hello to max Hello, he, Max. He, he desperately wanted a shout out on YouTube. If anyone else wants to say hello, leave us a comment saying hello, Max. Olivia's friend, Max, will appreciate it. So this was my weekly shop. Wow. It came to $149 from Pack and Save. Where did you get and the box from? From Pack and Save. Oh. And an extra $16 from the produce market because that is the cheapest place to buy sausages and avocados and bananas. There was beer added at the last minute, so that was an extra $20. So, <coughs> that came to $165 all up, which yes, I don't... La, ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> Bunch of gannets. I'm going to do a little montage of all the lunch boxes I make throughout the week and the dinners that I make. Yeah, I'll show you how I go about utilising all of that. So, 165 bucks. Uh, as I've said before, my weekly shops are usually, please don't blow raspberries on the food, uh, between 150 and 170, so that's sort of an average. We'll see how we go, and please leave us a comment and let, let me know how you go. Okay.
So I thought I'd just round it up by showing you the latest shop that I did just to prove I didn't go cheating and just doing like one really cheap shop. Um, so this came to $168. So, you know, a little bit closer to the 170 mark. But I did buy some extra stuff to make Dad a cheesecake tomorrow, eh? Because it's Dad's birthday got and he likes cheesecake. Biscuits. Yes, we got, we got the Bickies to be part of the cheesecake base before you go hassling me for buying Bickies when I've told everyone else to make it. And... It did include, yeah, lemons for the cheesecake. And it did include chook pellets and cat bickies this week. So there we go. Plans for this week. I'm going to make deviled sausages one night. I'm going to make nachos one night. Hence the nacho chippies there. Um, I actually replaced sour cream with my homemade Greek yogurt. Because it's got a nice tang to it. It works really well. Um, I'm going to do fish and chips again one night. I'm doing a baked bean mince and hash brown slice. Which is always yummy. I'm going to do a quiche one night. And I'm going to do baked potato and I'm going to do some sweet corn fritters because creamed corn was on special for a dollar a can. So yummy. what are you doing a thumbs down for? Fritters are yucky. You fritters? Well, you've got two options. What are your two options? Eat, eat, it, eat it or don't. Eat it or don't. Yep, that's I'd, the one. I'd rather have potato fritters. Right, we'll negotiate later. Eat it or stop forever. On you. I hope this video has been of help. So do my three minions. If it has, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It means a lot with every subscription. I'm over the moon. Any questions, please fire them at me. Stick them down below and yeah, I'll do my best to answer them. Lola All right. has something to say. Does she? Bye, Max. <laughs> bye, Max. Everyone say bye, Max, in the comments. <laughs> bye, Max.